First of all, congratulations. They always say you're not truly a champion until you defend your title. Did, it, did tonight feel any different for you? No, I didn't feel any different. You know, um, I've been a champion before. That belt was around my waist, and I'm going to continue to be a champion. In the co-main event, Joe Warren, Joe Tamanglio. Obviously, Bellator probably put that fight on this same card, so the timing would work out for the winner of that fight, fight the winner of your fight. Looks like it's going to be Joe, trilogy match, rubber match. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, well, I'm, I'm with whoever. Whoever they put in front of me is going to get knocked down. It really doesn't matter the name, the style, the, the opponent. It doesn't matter. Whoever they put in front of me is getting beat up. So, Are, are you good with him on a, on a personal level? Is it, is it weird to kind of come in here and do your, your media interviews as he's walking out just after his? What, you know, we were talking about you five minutes ago. Yeah, Joe, he's a weird person. Sometimes he'll be a friend. Sometimes he wants to... You know, look over, the, look the other way. You know, but it's mutual. I feel like it's mutual respect. You know, um, he's got a fighter fighter's mentality, and um, so do I. So um, when it's all said and done, you know, there's a mutual respect there. But as competitors, we don't like each other. Talk about Leandro tonight. Did he do anything that surprised you? Is was he what you game plan for? Yeah, it was what I, what we game plan for. You know, I got the best coaches, the best management. You know the best team around so um, anytime I'm executing the game plan it's, it's gonna go as according were you surprised on how quickly you got him uh, no I figured you know either I was gonna get him in the first or uh, if it didn't happen in the first or second it was, it was gonna eventually happen I felt like he he tried to give a little bit more in that first and gas out but he I feel like uh, he didn't want to um, put himself out there but I, I had to expose him you kind of had words with this coach uh, Patricio Pitbull on the on the way out is is featherweight in your future I mean are you, are, have you thought about going back up cash talk bullshit welcome a thousand miles so um, I'm gonna let Scott Coker and my management Dave Martin um, put the pieces together that's where they want to uh, see me at that's where the fans want to see me at then let's do it there's no there's no type of like bucket list fights for you there's there's no one in particular that you, you want to get in there with it's just whatever pays the most for what I'm the champion you know these guys want to fight me as you see Patricio he wants to fight me you know um, I don't mind beating up the Pitbull brothers but again um, it's got to be worth my time would you rather have that fight at Bantamweight I don't really care getting back to the baby Joe he said that he's the only one that finished you Second fight, he even said that you had tapped in it. What do you? What's your response to him saying that he had said that you t you had tapped in that ref didn't see it? I think that's complete bullshit. In all honesty, I never tapped in that first one or that second one. The first one, um, I was dominant. I was beating him up the whole fight. You know, he got lucky. If you want to be honest, um, I had to I had to make some adjustments. You know, um, moved down to San Diego. Um, my training partners changed. You know. The first Baby Joe fight, I was training with amateurs, you know. I, I had one coach, you know, so it was only a spectacle of what I can do, you know. Um, baby Joe don't want these problems. Do you still feel like there's a, a lot for you to learn that this we're not even seeing close to the best Darren Caldwell yet? Absolutely, you know, and um, I try not to... Um, distinguish my fighting off of my, my practices, but if you watch me in the room, in the practice room, you know, I get a lot, I get a, off a lot more in the stand-up, you know. I'm, I haven't shown that yet. So once you guys start to see, and once I get someone punches me in my face and I get pissed, you'll, you'll see a, a beast come out. I've heard a lot of coaches say that about fighters that uh, they'll go out there and they'll win a title, and when they come back into that gym, they're going into the, they're bringing, coming back to their home gym as the champ. That they that their training steps up a notch, that it just gets more intense. That have you felt that at all? Have you felt that uh, maybe a, a stronger intensity for you in training now that you're the champion that you kind of carry this weight? Absolutely, you know. But the thing is, we got a, a room full of champions, you know. So um, when you're looking over to your right and there's Dominic Cruz, you're looking over to your left. There's Phil Davis, you know. There's uh, Jeremy Stevens, you know. You have no choice but to grind. You know, you have no choice but to push yourself because these guys are pushing the pace. You know, and they've been on the top for for a while. So um, I'm just trying to stay in it as long as they have been at the top. You know, and, and so um, it, it's it's not it's no different than you know just 
going to practice, that's the hardest part is getting to practice, you know. And once I'm there, I let the coaches do the thinking for me. How do you, what do you think a, a fight with, a third fight with Joe, how does that play out? What does that look like? Joe doesn't stand a chance. He doesn't, doesn't, does he go all five rounds? He doesn't go all five rounds. He gasses out. He, he's he's just going to melt. Baby Joe is like some chocolate. He's like chocolate. He's going to melt. You got it over pretty quickly tonight. How quickly would you like to get back in there? How 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 soon do you think they can make that fight? As soon as possible, you know. As a fighter, you don't get paid unless you're fighting. So um, it's my, my job to get back to the drawing board on Monday. Uh, there's no days off for me. I'm not hurt. I'm not feeling any sort of way. I'm ready to get back out there. Uh, do you feel you have what, what more do you feel you have to prove uh, in, in the MMA world and do you feel uh, you get the respect that you deserve as a champion at the moment absolutely not there's no there's not that much respect here you know for guys that would at Bellator you know everyone um, thinks that the UFC is the NFL of MMA you know so whenever you got uh, UFC guys you know as a like TJ Dillashaw you know Cody Garbrandt as a champion, you know, they're always going to be like, oh, you're not better than this guy because he's in the UFC, but fuck those guys. I'll beat them up too.